Hi everyone. Um, so today I am talking, but I am going to be joined by somebody, and that is my lovely friend Tim Wilde. Hello, Tim. Good morning, Gemma. <laughs> Hello, <Hi>. everybody. <laughs> um, so today, um, the guidance or what came through for us to talk about is activations, mastery, and empowerment. Um, so for me, it feels like there's a link between all of those and through the process, through our path that we're on. Um, so yeah, the practical side always comes through really well with you, Tim, doesn't it? So Thank you, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, this, has been, this has been the subject for years now, particularly sort of, it, it became significantly more important when I started, or, or us as a collective started realizing that this is the process that we have to go through. So it is activations, mastery, empowerment, and they all they all kind of they all fit in with each other very, very nicely because you don't kind of step into those facets until the activations begin. So it's all about going through various phases, isn't it? As you know so very well yourself, we go through phases, we activate, we work through what we've been given, and then we move on to another phase and it just mm -hmm. keeps and the ball keeps on rolling doesn't it yeah and do you know what just came to mind then was like what comes first the chicken or the egg <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we just with the chicken again yeah. <laughs> um but yeah so i guess for me what's become kind of um visible is when i think about activations i see this kind of web around myself with loads of little padlocks and kind of they get unlocked by experiences or by interactions with people or even items like cards or crystals and stuff like that so you know is there any insight deeper insight from your experience or from your wisdom as to how like are those locks just always there do they slowly light up or you know, how does it work it's the way I see it occurring is it's it's done on on a process of of raising vibration. Mm -hmm. So all of these pre exist in your field as, as kind of dormant keys and codes. And um, I sometimes see pockets of information like iClouds, you know, all of that, you know, how you can <laughs> stuff all your stuff into an iCloud and then it gets lost for a decade and then you find it late and you remember your password yeah. sort of thing. It's a little bit like that. So we've got all of this stuff sewn into our bodies, our fields, our aura, our chakras. We're given the downloads when we're ready and it's appropriate for us to start to integrate them. So it's about the first step on the on the pathway to integrate in this is raising vibration. So and at the moment, we're doing that naturally. We're, we're, we're having to raise our vibration daily to keep step with what's going on around us on the planet. Yeah. and what we've agreed to do on a soul level but prior to 2012 we were kind of forcing the issue we had our natural process once we we're on the spiritual pathway but it was a lot more kind of it's a lot more free and a lot more easy going and if you wanted to get forward you had to push now we're not having to push anymore we're kind of it's more laying yourself bare to the universe kind of thing going here yeah. i am i'm ready and and, and like throwing yourself into this golden stream of energy that then takes you through these various gateways. Mm -hmm. So just by being here on earth at the moment and committing to this pathway, your vibration rises on a daily basis and you go through the gateways, the tests, and then all of this stuff becomes available. Once it becomes available, you've got to learn how to use it and you've got to go through the initiations that are tied to it. And yeah, all so of that's the other the mastery. Yeah, 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 all the fun, joyful stuff that's involved <laughs> with our pathway. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like, yeah, you see it in a different way. Just you have your own view on things. Hmm. And then when you take on someone else's view and you can merge them, it's like for me, that's an activation because then it opens up another another path. Absolutely. And exactly like what you've just said, we've all raised to this certain level, but it kind of feels like that part or that process doesn't stop but it's like leveled up yeah so like and, and then because then comes the memories and the like the remembering and you know that kind of thing and, and empowering yourself with everything that you've now activated absolutely and there's a, there's also 
there's so many lessons involved with the the kind of the side of remembering and kind of reclaiming our mastery because on one side there can be a lot of glamour with it there can be we can re-immerse ourselves in our past lives and become terribly kind of caught up in who we were and what we were doing but the most important thing is i believe is to take the bits that are being offered yeah. and use them in our current integration because it's more important that we are who we are in this lifetime yeah. and and embodying the <clears throat> the master aspect of who we've incarnated to be and that's one of the biggest tests that i'm seeing at the moment because we are privy to this huge field of remembrance and reconnection and recontacting and re-meeting and all of this stuff so we've got to just take the most efficient line through the middle of it to get where we want to be do you, does that make sense completely that makes total sense and I can talk of my experience with you on that actually because I'd reached that certain level of vibration when I contacted you for the first time mm. and then straight away after I that's when Anubis came through for me do you remember yeah I do very and strongly I got, <laughs> I got completely lost in it because yeah. I was shown all of these things and I couldn't understand it he was no. telling me he was me and I was like what yeah. <laughs> no oh, me small little me no it doesn't make yeah. any sense and so I got quite lost in that um, mm. for a long time and hiding away is what I was doing mm. not, and trying to try to understand it but trying to understand it from a human point of view not from like a, a soul or a heart point of view yeah and so once I had to completely step away from it in a sense to mm. then come back with some newer perspective absolutely and and the the late and as for as far as time scales are concerned you integrated that very quickly Gemma as well because I mean sometimes it can take years you can be given this information you can be given this knowledge you can be given a set of directives that you've got to kind of run your ascension process by and it might not necessarily be to the time scale that you want it it can happen over a very long period but what i'm seeing at the moment and this is brilliant is that our our collective team you know we work with we're individuals but we work as a unit <clears throat> we're all kind of getting it a lot quicker yeah we're getting it a lot quicker than we used to everything's happening in kind of in in very very quick succession if you see what i mean so i relate to that um is that so what I just thought of then is I've also had a an experience where um and it was with Lyrans or Lyrans um where I kind of I was shown a counterpart I guess mm. and like an initiation as this lion goddess person mm. um and then that happened over a period of weeks but then I had to integrate her into my being yeah and that happened so quickly and so <laughs> i can really relate to that gosh yeah <laughs> it's, um, just to re to re kind of like have a look at what you're saying about the plateaus as well yeah. as something else mm -hmm. that I, i'm i'm seeing a big pattern with people going through at the moment is that the a lot of this moves very very quickly as you know and as everybody else knows but there is also periods of kind of convalescing, plateauing, re kind of like, you know, having to step back and, and, and hand it all over whilst you integrate. And, and for my personal experience, that's something I'm not very good at. I'm not very good at stepping back. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. Um, I, I could, I've learned to be a little bit more professional with myself about it a little bit more. Well, okay. I'm not going to get through this unless I toe the line sort of thing. But it's a very difficult thing for a lot of people to do is just to hand it over and just go all right i surrender okay I've, I've got to step back and do a bit of integrating now it's going to take a bit of time but boring sort of thing nothing fun's going to happen and yeah. meanwhile you think that the entire ascension process is going to collapse around you because you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing sort of thing yeah yeah that's quite a common thread as well yeah because it is hard like like you said it's like when you feel like you've been given that role whatever it is sometimes you don't even know what that role is but you just no. feel that it's something you feel like every day you should be doing driving to, driving yeah. forwards yes. that is a collective drive that i believe that all of us feel all of us that have stepped up to this 
you know the, the level of like you know we're we're the masters of planet earth we're we're the kind of the ones that are driving this process forwards anchoring the light making sure that the higher forces can come in and do the work that they need to do and ensuring that we've got the next phase kind of sewn up so that we can move into it smoothly yeah because without that level of integration there would be chaos at the yeah. moment 4d yeah. where we are at the moment that 4d window we're exactly halfway through the shift now 2022 mm -hmm. is the halfway point exciting mm -hmm. stuff isn't it so the next decade it's going to be 2032 and that's our target yeah. but the energies have the potential to be incredibly chaotic depending on which of these eye clouds that you're plugged into so if you plugged into 3D, you get what you pay for. You, you get all of the nonsense and you get it in technical color glory sort of thing. Where we are is, is it can either be very chaotic or it can be very, very smooth going, depending on if you choose on a daily basis to be plugged into that higher vibration. But the good thing is, is that it's all becoming that big field, what we're creating together because we're doing our job so effectively is a lot more easy to access now than it was previously. Mm. Yeah. Which is great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, what just came through then as you were talking about that is with that surrendering period mm. and that kind of feeling like you're disconnected in a sense, we're doing the work on this level, aren't we? On the physical level, like yeah. where we are kind of multidimensional or multi-layered, mm. we have like a mental emotional spiritual and physical so what what that felt like when you were talking is that we are integrating it into our physical and the physical work has to be done too like and you see that like in family situations and illness and it's all coming up to be worked through it I is know. i mean another another thing with and a pattern that I, I i tend to notice that a pattern within myself is a pattern that's reflected within the collective um I, my physical was the last thing that I paid attention to. It's all <laughs> great fun being tuned into the, into the, into the higher realms, into the, into the etheric field, into the past lives, into where we're going and, and, and these amazing connections that we got. And then last but not least is the, is the, the kind of the mundanities of our physical <laughs> existence, which if you look at it is the wrong way around it's the most important part because we are this physical vessel that we've got to take incredibly good care of and that we haven't been very good at doing that previously in fact we were taught to do completely the opposite everything within our third dimensional society was was encouraging us to abuse that physical vessel and one of the biggest things one of the biggest and the hardest bits to go through is managing the physical self and that's what i believe this year is going to be really really focused on doing that shadow work if you got to do it draggy <laughs> shadow work um if you had to take the time off to step back those 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 kind of periods of isolation that we've we've both been talking about you do tend to have to step back because if say for example you're poorly mm -hmm. okay but we we both know that an illness isn't an illness it's more like it's a cleansing situation it's an upgrade it's an opportunity to kind of have all of the internal wiring kind of stripped out pulled out and then you you're rewired by the professionals in the higher <laughs> realms kind of thing and when you switch back on again everything's running at a much much higher frequency that's that's a that's going to be a big theme at the moment i'm seeing so many people being rewired when they don't want to be you yeah. know, and it <laughs> yeah, gets you when you least expect it doesn't it you're like no i yeah. can't i can't go through this now i'm too busy i've got too much arranged it's just not convenient and it's like no off you go <laughs> yeah completely. and and you and you have to drop vibration and you have to step back during those times it that that is the way it goes it's yeah. it, half of the course i remember you saying that to me once over the last year or so and it was like gosh yeah i am well back down here <laughs> yeah. and it feels um, cruddy because yeah. you're, you are you know where you need to be and you know the vibration that you're supposed to be holding and it doesn't feel right it feels extremely unnatural yeah and and but, but you've, then, got, you've got to wear it you've got to yeah wear it. but th there's an empowerment in doing that work isn't there mm. because yeah. like for me some of those experiences were 
realizations that mm. a bit like what you've just said we're the channels and it's not about going up to and leaving and reaching somewhere it's no. about actually standing in your power and being that clear conduit that clear vessel to allow all of this energy and these frequencies to come into this plane into this realm in, onto this earth yeah. so you do learn a lot in that sticky sludgy dark yeah you do realm. You do. It's it's incredible. And there's a lot of very human things coming to the surface at the moment as well. Like, I think all of us are being kind of kicked through the shadow door a little bit. Um, all, all of us that have taken up this mantle of responsibility for the planet. And um, you see, you're seeing all your one thing that I was told very clearly when we walked through the solstice gateway last year, 21st of December, that was to, to leave as much as we could behind. You know, that's why we all cleanse so hard. That's why we all went through this stuff. And now we're through to the other side. It hasn't stopped. And what it's doing is because the light is so bright on the other, you know, in, in this new framework, in this new timeline that we're operating in, there's no room for old patterns being hidden. So all of the old stuff that we thought we'd screwed away and not quite dealt with is having light shone on it. And that's mm -hmm. particularly prevalent between us as teachers, as masters, as integrators, as leaders, because we can't be in this position of authority with ourselves and and with people that are basically looking up, you know, looking to us for guidance. If we haven't dealt with our little bits and pieces, it's all got to be on the table. And that comes, doesn't it? Like when you say you're ready, mm -hmm. like I said I was ready over a year ago. Yeah. And I've gone through a year of getting to where I am. And now I'm <laughs> acting ready. Good. And there's a difference. Yeah. And now, like I explained just before we, we recorded, it's like now I'm getting assistance when there's something I need to go through, not just being thrown in it to try and figure it out. So, yeah. <laughs> Dumped in the deep end, like, off you go. <laughs> yeah. Just pushing me off the diving board. Yeah. A lot of the time, that's what you got. That's, that's what needs doing, though. You do need kind of kicking off the highest diving board. And then, yeah. you know, you've got two choices then, haven't you, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. But are, are you, how are you going to land in the water sort of thing? Yeah. Um, I actually don't mind learning that way. I have to be no, honest. <laughs> no, it's, um, and it's another really interesting point. There's a lot of people that might be listening to this either now or later on that might not feel ready for that level mm -hmm. of responsibility, but you are, you yeah. know, it's, it's yeah. our own personal perception of us, you mm -hmm. know, that little me thing, little me yeah. syndrome. Remember yeah. that? And um, a lot of the time you can only be ready by, by making yourself be ready yeah. by putting yourself in that situation and it's not necessarily comfortable reminds no. me it always reminds me of um I like, I like that that series sas who dares wins and there's one really unpleasant thing that they have to do at the end of their training where they've got to go i mean it's up it's up in the height it's somewhere cold basically yeah. and they're already freezing they've got to stand on the edge of this cliff with their arms tombstone like that and drop back into the water oh. and every every single nerve and cell and conscious thought in their body is telling them that they're going to die if they do that but they're doing it and then one by one they all they all tombstone off backwards and that that's how i feel it is a little bit when we yeah, get that's like point. ultimate reprogramming in ultimate a way. reprogram you overcome all of your fears and it is a little bit like that isn't yeah. it <laughs> yeah so it's like just pushing those comfort zones just tiny bit at a time that's how it is for me even this is pushing a comfort zone uh, yeah. but you just there's just a, a knowing within you that there's something more mm. I don't I don't know what my purpose is I, I I believe that um like I couldn't write down an explanation of what it is I have a feeling of what it is yeah but I can't express it like in a human way i right. guess if somebody asked you what your what your sole mission was kind of <laughs> if you'd have a difficulty kind of like ironing out the points yeah but that, again that's a really important point actually Gemma, because uh i don't believe we do need to know that it's our human minds that that say i want to know what i'm here yeah, to do I can label everything. yeah yeah you want it yeah. all labeled out and and but you might not know the, mm -hmm. the gateways might not open out to you until you've stepped through the one that you're going through at the moment 
yeah. and then it and then it becomes and then a little bit more becomes visible again as you yeah. access these pockets these keys these codes all of this is kind yeah. of in your fields waiting for you sort of yeah thing. well like the um it's like if you do it from a mind or a human perspective you create an outcome mm. and so you limit it whereas if you just sit back and say okay i know that i'm here for a reason just help me out then you're saying any of this out here is where i'm going so you, you're not putting expectation you're not limiting it to just one outcome that's no. something i've learned as well yeah. yeah you will have a master pathway you will have your you'll have your ultimate soul key or your soul contract, which I believe that you've either signed or you're very close to signing at the moment. And this will be the same for everybody else, where it's, it's the, it's the final seg, where it's the final part of the commitment to the highest pathway. Yeah. Now, everybody goes, yeah, I'll commit to my highest pathway, but they, 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 you know, without actually really thinking about what the intricacies of it is, and that's where we are all now we're all being asked to sign the final spiritual contract to be here for the next phase because the next 10 years is so important and so this this is where we all are this is why we feel that pressure that responsibility and that oh my god i'm not ready but i've got to do it sort of thing whatever we're doing whether it be a small contribution or whether it's a big contribution it doesn't matter it all fits together into a puzzle so and, the, and this is why there's so much of this stuff coming up about, you know, how we interact with each other personally, you know, all, all of the shadow stuff, all of the shadow interactions that we have are coming to the surface and they're visible. It's why you go on Facebook, you see some very funny behavior between people. There's a lot of competition, mm -hmm. all of this kind of ego stuff. It's kind of been brought out into the light to be burnt because there's no room for that where we're going. You know, we can't, there's, we can't compete with each other. That's not in any way, mm -hmm. shape or form on the cards. We have to interact and we have to harmonize and we have to work efficiently. So all of these little dotting the I's and crossing the T's, getting it over and done with this year, it's going to be a good year. But yeah, it's like the polarity, isn't it? It's like we've become aware of it, but now it's the process of integrating it like Absolutely. the shadow and the light and yeah walking our talk yeah yeah completely our talk. <laughs> massive, massive walking of talks and uh, mm. what was so interesting about last year was the visibility of the vibrations that weren't in alignment how utterly utterly visible it's all become and for those of us that can see we can see and for those that can't they can't and and there's two very different kind of fields of vision in operation around the world at the moment aren't there yeah and for me like my my group of people is quite small at the moment um it's growing actually <laughs> well, it but, grow. yeah but like the people around me in kind of day-to-day -day life when you meet them and your view is over here and theirs is over here you just something shifts in you along this path i think where you just it's not even worth your breath no. to try and explain to them and no. I'd like then the the analogy of seeds into my mind because you do what you can to just plant little seeds mm. and they can take them if they want and, and absolutely sometimes you see it a year later or whatever because time is just going so fast that that yeah, year feels yeah, like yeah. a week ago but you see that oh okay they're talking about that now good <laughs> this is what you and and this is one of the more gratifying parts of the ascension process is beginning to see those around us and and we we've had a lot of trauma in the last two years you know we we've we've seen people that we thought we could rely on and that would be by our sides supporting us just drop away yeah. you know seemingly completely hypnotized by this narrative that's going on not being supportive of what we want to do um but i'm seeing such a switch around now and again this is something that we we was predicted a while back you know archangel metatron just said have patience you can take the veil off the third eye but the third eye does not calibrate and see until it is good and ready so all of these veils have come off the third eye of collective humanity but cognitive dissonance and programming and hypnotism has kept people from seeing and waking up but again you can't exist on this planet with the frequency of light and not see eventually yeah. so this is why we've got all of these people 
oh my god we can see we can see we can see what's yeah. going on oh that's just kind of made me think of a mastery aspect because how things have shifted for me is rather than kind of so my my into all of this was through healing mm. and so I was like I want to I want to bring healing to the world I want to you know and I, I can tell that person in Birmingham that they've got an ear infection <laughs> <laughs> you know like this stuff that I could I was figuring out that was was possible yeah but um and this has happened in the last six months is my maybe this is part of my role and I'm I'm saying this because I hope it's collectively people are feeling this but that's not what I'm here to do that's like a dependency I was asking people to depend on me through to do their healing to make their light shine brighter yeah but everybody has got to do that for themselves and it's like that's where the mastery comes in so when they're waking up we as these light workers way showers whatever you want to call it we shouldn't be kind of trying to fix them we should no. be saying here you go try this yeah here you go it's try this always yeah and so and then we it's like a detachment to it but mm. a love at the same time because you oh, raise the exit yeah. so yeah that's just what came through when it's you a big that. lesson <laughs> for a lot of people on our pathway is to stand back and let the and and mm. our job isn't to fix anything okay mm. we're not here to fix we're not to here to fix the broken we're here to teach the broken how to fix itself and and in many cases it's uh, you give another analogy that you can use is you can't do someone else's ascension process for them much as you'd like to mm -hmm. the the choice of their soul trajectory is based completely on the choices that they are making and the formation of the reality around them so what we do is we pioneer we hold the light we anchor it in and mm -hmm. by that alchemy alone everything else around us begins to rise to our frequency and it's a natural process two years ago it was happening a lot slower now it's happening a lot faster you know you can be you can see the effects that we're all having mm. on the planet around us the planet is is an, in, an incredible transformation isn't it if you look at what's going on in the various countries some of it's very very dark and stagnated still and others it's like right okay that's going in the right direction yeah. you can see yeah. where it's happening Definitely. yeah just i i'm not a, i'm not an avid kind of follower of news or anything nor but me. nor me when, but. when i hear it from family or whatever i there's i can just pick through it quickly in my mind i'm like oh that's Ooh. a good sign <laughs> so yeah and i, like I just try to, enough to yeah. know what's going on yeah to, that's to exactly keep, you know you get you get yeah. your news from youtube sort of thing it's a bit like that isn't it yeah but like i'm guided every now and again to just kind of tune into like the crystalline grid i guess mm. and it's just golden and like i just feel the difference every time of it just like ooh, 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 just growing yeah yeah it's that's amazing. a good that's another good point actually if you tune in once a week you get a very good indication of how much it's it's improving in luminosity every every week or so and uh I think funny enough today we've got sun flares rolling in. We, you know, always <laughs> held by the whiny ears. I think there's um, uh, yeah. yeah, big stuff coming in. I mean, like I think I think some people like it, some people don't. It all depends on how how volatile or or kind of vulnerable your fields are at the time. Yeah, and it can kind of catch you off guard a little bit. New waves of incoming energy, like whack. You're sort of like, oh no, I don't need any more. <laughs> you know, or yeah, 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 bring it in, bring it in. Let me, let me, <laughs> let me have more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's well. So, as like a finalization, to I think we've probably covered it enough. Kind of activations, mastery, and empowerment. Mm -hmm. What would be kind of like on the just out of your head right now like a good piece of advice for anybody that stay in flow stay in flow like everything is down to flow at the moment the minute you're feeling stuck or frustrated or like things aren't working or moving forwards the only way that has been shown to me particularly over the last two years or so is raise your frequency raise your vibration Mm -hmm. immediately you're feeling stagnated raise your vibration if something's put fear into your bodies and your fields raise your vibration 
and you can only raise your vibration by focusing on things that raise your vibration you know it's, you have to, it has to be an act it has to be an intentional act so a lot of our days are about spiritual discipline at the moment it's about having the discipline to pull yourself through those darker periods and actually bring yourself back up to scratch up to speed even if it takes a couple of weeks or so if you if you're knocked out of kilter just allow it to flow don't resist it don't fight it don't squawk kick and scream or do whatever just allow the whole thing to the process is all very natural and very flowing mm. oh, yeah lovely and what for me comes in with that is trust just trust yourself Big. in that process that's a really good point trust the process trust your guidance trust your team that you've got around you because you might have felt a bit abandoned over the last year but they're back you know I mean, yeah. big big helpful teams of light all around the planet it's like you, you remember know. i've got to share i've got to tell you this um i remember driving to the supermarket getting there and bursting into tears and i think i used to text you and i was like hi tim it's cry day again i was crying <laughs> yeah. every friday the, the, the end the end of the week tantrum wasn't it yeah I just feel so alone and you're oh, like no. i'm just going into a session i'll, I'll send some I'll, you, i don't you said something like and instantly this lady knocked my window yeah and just went are you okay and i just like oh. and then I I just got better, and i just thought that connection i just came yeah. I'd share that because well, I, I remember that well because that yeah. that that is again that's an initiation block isn't it that's when you're getting really dragged through the mill and all of the stuff's coming up and it's almost like you've got you've got like no spiritual support around you yeah. to bolster that yeah. yeah you work through that very well <laughs> <laughs> but just just you know people this is the process so mm, just it is. if that is helpful for anyone just yeah yeah no, you, you but... will be given the support if you need it particularly this year um i'm seeing so much more around us now i really am it's almost like the initiation period is over and we've got to crack on and do our jobs now so it's all there it's all waiting in the field yeah <sighs> Well, I think we've covered quite a lot, don't you? Yeah, I do. I think that's yeah. been a very, very illuminating conversation, Jenna. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing uh, seeing what you're bringing through. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Definitely. So yeah. for all of you listening and watching in, lots of love and thank you for tuning in. Yeah, thank you for joining me, Tim. And My pleasure. Anytime. Yeah, we'll do it again soon. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> right. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Love.